بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Dear children, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh I welcome you to our first class on studying Quran the easy way Let me ask you something Which is the best book? You will say Al-Quran because it is the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And what will happen if we study the Quran and follow it? It will show us to become the best and the most successful. Successful or best where? Best or successful in this world like we will become the best student, the best son or the best daughter, the best friend. And when we grow up, we will become the best person, the best neighbor, the best businessman, the best manager, the best doctor, the best engineer, and so on. And most importantly, when we die, inshallah, we will get paradise with the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, where we will live happily forever, the best forever. And which is the best class? The class in which we will study the Quran. Why? Because Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said, The best of you are those who learn Quran and teach it to others. Therefore, according to Prophet Muhammad وسلم, you are the best because you are learning the Quran. Therefore, let us never forget to study Quran every day, at least for a couple of minutes. Whenever we study the Quran, remember three things. First of all, to study the Quran to make Allah happy, to please Allah. Therefore, we should study with full attention and interest. He's always there, always alive, and watching and listening to us from high above. Even in this class, He's always there. So, we study Quran to please Him. Next, we should do that with understanding. Do we say something to our elders or anybody else without understanding? Or do you listen to something? without understanding? Do you read something without understanding? So why only Quran? Quran should be the first book. It is the book of Allah to be read or listened to with understanding. And third thing is we read it or we recite it with feelings. Do we say I am happy with a sad tone? Or I am very angry with a happy tone? No. So how can we recite Quran without feelings? Before we recite Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has advised us to say, A'udhu billahi minash shaitan rajim A'udhu billah. I take refuge in Allah. We don't see Allah, but Allah is seeing us. He is hearing us. He knows what we think. We take His refuge, that is, we get His protection. By just saying, A'udhu billah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will surely respond to us. He will send angels. He can throw all the enemies away from us. He is all powerful. Everything is under his control. So, A'udhu Billah means I take refuge in Allah. Can you translate? A'udhu, I take refuge. Billahi, in Allah. So you can practice like this. Mina shaytan. We are taking protection of Allah from who? From shaytan. Who is he? He is a jinn. A genie. We don't see him, but he sees us. Where is he? All of us have a shaitan with us. But don't worry. Don't get scared. All of us have angels too. Always with us. To protect us. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with his huge power is high above us. To protect us. To answer our prayers. And what is shaitan? He is a rajim. He is an outcast. He is thrown away from mercy of Allah. And remember, He wants us also to be thrown away from mercy of Allah. He hates us. He wants us to go to hell with Him. And what does He do? He whispers. He says something bad secretly in our heart. We feel like doing bad things. This is His attack. Do you feel that sometimes? All of us do. 
like not obeying Allah or not obeying parents or teachers talking in the class being bad to friends in the class or outside not ready to study any subject not only Quran because all subjects give us knowledge of course Quran is the most important so who is our worst enemy shaitan and fight these bad feelings hate shaitan fight shaitan how say a'udhu billah and feel that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving us protection and say min shaitan rajim and feel the hatred towards shaitan as you say it so we have to say a'udhu billah min shaitan rajim when when we start reciting the quran and also whenever we feel like doing bad things or not doing good things so let us practice a'udhu billah min shaitan rajim a'udhu I seek refuge Billahi in Allah Min shaitan From Satan Ar-Rajim The outcast A'udhu Billahi Min shaitan Ar-Rajim I seek refuge in Allah From Satan The outcast Practice this at least three to five times Let us start with Surah Al-Fatiha Surah means chapter Quran has 114 surahs or chapters and the first chapter first surah is Al-Fatiha Fataha is to open like I open a door a window a book Surah Al-Fatiha means opening chapter the first chapter Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Bismillah in the name of Allah Ar-Rahman the most gracious Ar-Rahim, the most merciful. We start in the name of Allah. Ar-Rahman and Ar-Rahim. Both mean that He is very merciful. He is so kind. He created us. He gave us toys, sweets, chocolates. He gave us eyes to see, ears to hear. He gave us parents to take care of us. He gave us earth to live on and sky as a cover and air to breathe. Everything for free. And he's giving all those blessings continuously. He loves us a lot, much more than our mom and dad. So feel his mercy and love when we say Ar Rahman Ar Rahim. Feel the mercy. And remember to say Bismillah at the start of every work. And we should feel confident that Allah, who is Ar Rahman Ar Rahim, he has shown us so much mercy, he has showered with mercy, he's surely going to help me in my work because he loves us and he is always listening, he is always alive. So let us practice Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim at least three to five times. I will do it here only once. Bismillah in the name of Allah, ar-Rahman the most gracious, ar-Rahim the most merciful. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim in the name of Allah the most gracious the most merciful in the beginning of the class i said assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah assalamu peace be alaykum on you all wa and rahmatullah mercy of allah assalamu alaykum peace be on you all wa rahmatullah and mercy of allah see islam is a deen of peace, a religion of peace. It has taught us to always say Assalamu Alaikum whenever we meet with each other. It is as if like saying I am wishing peace for you. You can expect only peace from me. That is the first thing we say when we meet with each other. As if the society building starts in Islam with peace. Tens of times we say this to each other. So actually we are spreading peace in the society. If you meet a non-Muslim who says hi or hello, you can always respond, say hi or hello. But among Muslims, we should say salam. It is much better than hi or hello, which perhaps has no meanings. And say it with the intention to please Allah. You will get 10 rewards when you say salam alaikum. If you say wa rahmatullah also, 20 rewards. Wa barakatuh also, 30 rewards. And say it with feelings. You really wish peace and mercy and blessings of Allah for your brother or sister and people will love and respect you
Inshallah, we'll see you again. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi, subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika, nashadu an la ilaha illa anta, nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayka.